Let's go ahead and I'll show you another another portal or another planet I should say do they perceive the portal as I do okay so this next one is called Tempest in the Zushim system so let's go ahead and check that out And we got the boat cube, the clouds. You'll notice there's a pattern to these, depending upon what your system you're in. It's like half of them are the same, and then some are, and then like the rest are different. See, I was writing down all these addresses and then using them for, like, uh, trading. Like, going from one side of the galaxy to another to do trading. Only problem is that um, the only way you can get to the trading station is to use an exocraft. And that took, like, maybe an hour or so to drive to get there. <laughs> Not exactly what I call fun, but... I was able to get some good deals on trades. All right, here we go. Let's go to Tempest. I hope someone makes a mod that makes this look like Stargate, you know, where the uh, and the sound effects where you're like, that'd be so cool. Here we go. So here it is, Tempest. So I have something over there that's 18 hours away. Some gear, this might be useful. Oops, I didn't need that. All right, so let's Try to give you a try. We'll go up here and see if we can give you a, a, a look. I want to use all my life support. That looks like a clown clown head or something. And so in this game, you can uh, categorize every rock and plant and. really really cool so so yeah all the plants are procedurally generated but yeah so this is tempest oh look at that thing over there there's uh, flying creatures also and there was one one planet I went to that had like they looked like whales or something like that that were uh, flying up in the air. It was really cool. They were like half whale snake things that were slithering in the air.
we'll check out another one here. Okay, so now this is going to be interesting. This next one is actually in the same uh, the same system that we're in right now. So it's another planet in the system. Um, Toxitary, and there's also one I called Burner. We might actually just fly to those, though, so I'll skip those. Here's one that I called Shiny Metals in the Haviland system. I can't remember why I called it Shiny Metals. Maybe because it had gold? I don't know. What do I trust? Okay, so we need the... Whoa, whoa, I don't want it twice. That's one problem that I've been having. It's like you click something and it does it twice. It's like, I don't want that. Okay, try doing it without... Yeah. Okay, so we need a cloud and a bug. Here's the cloud. Is that a cloud? I don't know. That's I don't know if that's cloud, water, sun. I forget what I wrote them down. I forget what the name of it was. What do I need? Bug. And a cube. And another sun cloudy thing. And a bird and a moon. Um, bird. Moon. And a galaxy and a rocket. Galaxy. Rocket. And what I call the Sim Plum Bob. <laughs> and another one of these. And our YMCA. I think that's supposed to be a tree. I like YMCA better. <laughs> it's the Y. Why? Because we can, that's why. Warning, going through stargates can give you queasiness and possibly seizures. <laughs> Shiny metals. Check out this planet. Select the the colors of the atmosphere can be different. Um, some planets are toxic. And you've got a spacesuit, but it only it only works for so long. Yeah, check this out. up here. So here's some trees. Some more, more creatures. I wonder if I need any of these. I don't know. If anything, I can just sell it. Oh, Thamium. Hmm. 
Anything else? Scanners recharging. Uh, plenty of plutonium. There we go. There's some more over there. Ooh. Nope, that's the one I got. Okay. Okay, we've got another star thingamajigger star bramble. Now, I got my game off of GOG dot com and they've got multiple like um, you can download the various um, versions of the game so you can play the game as it was at launch or or whatnot um, I on Steam though I don't know if it's like once you update it you know, it may be updated. At least on GOG, if if I don't like the next update, I can just go back to what I was playing. I don't see why I wouldn't like it, but... Let's check out another one. Chill Angela. I'll give you a hint on what type of planet this is. Think the first part of the word. Chill. Chill Angela. Alright, we got a face. And a, I think that's like a sunset or a sunrise or something. And a plum bob. Actually, I think they call that a balloon. And another face. And another sunset over water. And we got a bird and a moon. And I did this wrong. <laughs> That's not supposed to be right. My eye was looking on the wrong... Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, we'll try this again. Look at the right line, man! Okay, there. There, I'll just put my finger on the uh, other monitor here. That way I know I got it right. Bird. Galaxy. Rocket ship. And a bird. And two tents. And I don't know, what is this, the Illuminati sign? <laughs> All right, this should take us to Chill Angela. And here we are. Traveler 2 system. Ah, and I've got one of my exocrafts here. Okay, so this is a very cold planet. 
Whoops. I guess I was having problems trying to... And we got some more stuff that we could use here. Alright. More Thamium! But here you go. Here is Chill Angela. There's a trading post. See, that's there. If I was to walk there, it'd be six hours. Now I could take my Exocraft. And, and that would get me there in two hours. Um, if I'm going really fast, it I might be able to get there in about an hour. I'm trying to remember how to control this thing. It's been a little while since I played it. Why am I having trouble trying to control this thing? Ah! Alright, let's head on back. There's one system in particular I really want to show you. This planet was amazing when I saw it. I called it Strawberry Cream. Okay, so to get there you want a bird. And a sunset and a dinosaur. And a bird. And one of these. And a bird again. Or a fish, whatever that is. And a moon. And a galaxy. And a tent. And a balloon. And another moon. And a YMCA. Now you can throw any old address in here. And sometimes it'll connect you to an exact planet. And sometimes it'll just... Take you somewhere close. Now these are planets that I found just in space and stuff. I was hoping it wouldn't be nighttime, because it's stunning during the daytime. Yeah, it's nighttime. Ah! You could see it, though. It had a very strawberry like uh, atmosphere. Maybe we'll, we'll come back to this when it's daytime.
bits and you constantly have to come back to where you open up that portal. You can't activate it from where you went to and go someplace else. I hope that's something that they change. Okay, so here's one that I called Napoleon. And it is a... birdie fishy thing and a sun set and a bug and we have another flying creature and two of those and a boat and a rocket and aha this is the fish okay make sure I get the right one okay the Illuminati sig signal. <laughs> Symbol! And a dino. And a boat. Which is right there. There's definitely one system I need to show you, and there's not a portal to it. Alright, so here is... Planet Napoleon. Now I have several addresses written down, but I don't um, have tons of them written down. I just kind of wrote down key places that I would want to go back and visit. Um, maybe for trading reasons or, or whatnot. But see, I would be stuck on this world. I have no way off of it except for the portal. I can't buy a ship. I can't build one. Yeah, nothing. See the planet over there? Oh, I'm back to Riker. I called this the Genesis system since that's where I started. You know, Genesis beginning. It was created by the Genesis device. Okay. Um, let's see. If I take you to Frozen Rain, I'm sure you can guess what kind of planet that is. Bug. And we got three of these this time. And a boat. And a rocket ship. I was going to say plane, but that's not right. And then a fishy...
can see all the flashy colors on my face. <laughs> that was just reflecting off of me. See this? Nice and cold out here. Oh, I think... Let's see... Well, that could be useful over there. And keeping the address of some of these things allows me to also go and quickly get some resources that happen to be right near where I'm at. Wish there was a trading post somewhere nearby, but hey. Where was it? There it is. We'll go up here, and then we'll go back, go back up to the uh, space station. And, oh no, we can go to trading post. Yeah, the trading posts actually sell better than what the space stations do. So you can see, if I was to walk, that's how far, that's how long it would take me to get there. Now using my Exocraft, I would get there obviously quicker than that. But, yeah, in order to do trading, if I wanted to... Because you have to, like, write... I have, like, this thing in Excel where I've written... Like how much something costs to buy in one spot and how much it would cost to sell it. Like what what you would be able to get. And so you keep track of all this stuff and that way you know where all the deals are at. And that's how you're able to build money. Because you need money in order to get upgrades and stuff for your suit and your weapon and your ship. All right. Let's go ahead and turn this thing off. Which I think, if I do this, and then I do leave, that should turn it off. Okay, what? <laughs> what happened here? I know that's not where I landed it. We'll just... Move my vehicle here. That was weird. That was definitely kind of weird. Okay, so another mod I have on here is that whenever you take off, it's not taking a quarter of your plutonium tank. Because I find that uh, uh, just crazy. So it only takes 10% instead of 25 That was ridiculous. It was like, you know, you lift off and it takes a quarter of your tank. That was just kind of dumb, I thought. 
All right, that right there, Toxiteria, that is the planet that I started off on. So let's go take a quick look at that. And we'll get there in 25, 21, 20 seconds. Yeah, so this is the this is the place that I first started when I first started the game. It was on this wonderful toxic planet with these floating rocks. You can see how all these planets are different. There's just so many different combinations that you'll never see the same planet. And they're supposed to be adding even more variety with the next update. But wait, there's more! And I don't mean other Ramble videos, but more No Man's Sky pre-next. I certainly didn't end it here. Be sure to subscribe to be notified of the next part as well as any video uploaded to this channel. We have tons of them all over the place. It's how we like it, and we hope you like it.